Hey my beauty family, this is Valia's channel and in today's video I'll have for you this beautiful one tone look with a khaki twisted eye shadow like this is and a very nice nude pink lipstick. You only need these two products and the whole basis. It is an easy look for you, a glowy look, a very wearable look for all the day. Full look my friends. This is my recommendation for you for an easy web look. So let's get started! I have filled in my brow with my Tommy D eyebrow pencil number 3 light brown and this is it. Then I have sculpted them up with my Ustas liquid concealer in the same fair and I have set up my lid with the same concealer. I have no um, applied pressed powder for the reason that I am gonna apply a stick shadow on my eyes in this video my friend. In this look my friend I will do for you a very easy glowy makeup tutorial the most easy glowy look that you have ever seen and I only need a stick shadow like this is by Coret a twist eye shadow which is in a khaki color very very beautiful this is the shadow. It has a very, very beautiful khaki color. Uh, it says Cores Volcanic Mineral Twist Eye Shadow Intense Color. Long lasting 24 hour wear. And this is it. And I'm gonna apply that. For this is the reason that I have not put uh, a pressed powder onto my lid. So I'm going to apply this shadow directly onto my lid. It is a very beautiful, beautiful color, khaki colors, and they are very warm tone colors that they match to almost all the skin tones and colors. And they are very full colors. I'm applying that, as you see. Stick shadows are very easy to apply. And I'm taking this type of brush, which is a little fluff and long, and starting to soft only the edges. This is one of my favorite classic, very easy looks and to apply easy and to wear them easy. I really love this and as I have told you the khaki colors, also the grey colors and the dark brown are very easy to wear to match with any other outfit or look and now I'm applying it only with a blending brush and I don't need any other. I'm applying the same onto the other eye. I'm doing the same. I'm only taking my twisted shadow, as you see. Applying much more of this color. It is a matte look. Matte and easy. And taking the brush to soft the edges and to apply the whole um, shadow. Very, very beautiful this look. I really love these colors. Very, very beautiful. This is the color. This is the twisted shadow. As you see, very nice, beautiful khaki color. It one, it's one of the most beautiful colors that I have, that I know, and that I can wear. Also, other colors are gray, dark gray for the fall season, and all the warm brown colors. I'm taking my. Face Studio Chrome Metallic Highlighter, just to have some touch of that, as we always do, under the brow bone area. And inside the eye, just a touch of that, not much. I'm 
I'm applying some of this color onto the bottom eye area, as you see, with the same color, and taking the same brush to smudge all the shadow. Very, very beautiful, this color. Mm, to tell you the truth, I was wondering, maybe, maybe, I will have some touch of eyeliner. I will use my MAC brass, black brass stroke, 24 hour liner, and this is it. I will not have exactly a winged line. I will do only a line, thin line on the last root, nothing else. A thin line, yes. Just to wear my false lashes. And on the other eye. Only a thin line. Yes, I don't want something more than this. Yes. It's enough. As I see, yes, it's enough. Only to connect the false lattice. Just a few coffee while I work. As you see, it is so easy. As I told you, one shadow, the black, the black liner, if you won't do it, if you want, don't do it. Only a stick shadow. When I bought that shadow, I really was wondering how I could apply it easily. I noticed because it's the first time that I apply it, that it wants a really, uh, has um, a really quick blending because it is getting dry very, very quick. Uh, and taking, I'm gonna to wear off camera my lashes, which are they, 3D lashes, and coming back then. My false lashes are ready, as you see, and now I'm ready to move on to the rest of the face. MUA. Pro-based oil-free primer, moisturizing primer for me because I have a combo to dry skin as we have told many times. If you have a very oily person, you can choose another more mattifying primer. And my friends, I have to ask you something. If you uh, know some primer different than that I use, that it is more moisturizing for dry skin, Please leave me a comment down below if you want it, if you know something else. Because I have to try and I want to try new products for me. Golden Rose, high definition, 115 golden base. With L'Oreal Infallible 32 fresh wear, 220 sample sand. I have to apply both of these, which I love. The one is very dark, and the other, the other is an undertone lighter. I'm applying them, as I have told you, with my Kabuki brush, and I always continue to blend the colors with wet beauty blenders. This is a nice technique on the liquid products you have to apply on your face. Directly onto my neck. Of course, continue with my instant eraser by Maybelline on the inner part of the eyes, on the outer corner, on the bridge of the nose, on the mustache area, and on the chin area, and on the contouring area, as we see. And of course, with the same way, with the Beauty Blender, I always apply my concealer. Continue. Contouring product, MUA, with my Kabuki brush. Of course, on the same point, we have told many times, And of course, taking my beauty blender to do the whole work, to apply nicely the product. Of 
on the chin always applying with down onto the neck with the beauty blender and on the no on the no line and on the forehead of course I always prefer the contouring product. I always use in all my looks the contour. We do it just to shape our um, face. So I think that it is important in all the looks we do. And in easy and in glowy looks and in more difficult looks. The contouring gives the shape of the face. I'm gonna continue with my MUA Black, very beautiful. This is a blush, coral blush. I'm applying it directly onto the thick area and with that type of brush, which I really love, applying it and always blending this very, very nicely. Really beautiful really beautiful the coral color gives a freshness to any uh, face what else continue with my loose powder to set up the face setting up the under eye area with the loose powder of course as you see i'm taking my beauty blender Now I will apply, I will set up the whole face with my uh, loose powder. Continuing with my L'Oreal Infallible powder to set up the rest of the face. I'm setting up the rest of the face with my infallible powder. It is a little broken, so I can't uh, sew very, very well. I'm applying onto the whole face. Bronzer. MUA Bronze Perfection. Onto the same point, we have applied the contouring. And onto the neck area of course i'm contouring and my nose i have done a video before some videos that i have explained you how you can do your contouring and your baking powder go and check out this on the previous video to so to see how you can have a beautiful contouring on your face blush coral blush in this case because we have a very nice warm look so we need a coral blush my eyes are ready I just want some on the bottom eye area mascara a touch of highlighter onto the nose onto the thick bone area onto the cupid bow a touch of that not much i'm bonding all the products together as you see with my beauty blender so i can have a very beautiful result and as i see the last step Tommy did matte lip pencil number 8 and Maybelline 942 blushing put matte beautiful classic pink beautiful lipstick
Time highlighter, and we have told before. Time highlighter on the inner part of the eye. One more on the underbrow bone area. That to correct a little our brows. And yes, of course the last step is our fixing spray, so we can do our makeup last during the whole day. My friend! This is my complete finish for, look for you. This is my recommendation for you for today. It is an easy look. I have told you with only a twisted eyeshadow like this is by Core. You can find everywhere. And it is not very expensive, about $10, 10 euros. One eyeshadow, you can apply it with one brush like this is. And your lashes, your fourth lash if you want, and a very nice nude pink, nude mauve, a nude, as I prefer, nude lipstick. So my friend, uh, if you like that video, give it some thumbs up, leave a comment below, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and ring the notification bell, and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Love you, friends!